All right, everyone, welcome to this pre-NCAA Nationals media availability. Here with us today, we have head coach Shannon Welker and senior Mara Titersoli. Coach, you have an opening statement for us? No, we're, uh, yeah, we're excited how the season, um, you know, finished. Obviously, we wanted to go a little bit further with our team, but we're definitely very excited to travel down to uh, Texas with this young lady right here. And uh, I was actually just looking in the camera and I'm looking at her, her, her shoulders and her biceps. Look at those things. Those are, <laughs> she's jacked. So, um, but uh, no, we're excited about it. Uh, always fun to you know, represent University of Missouri on the national stage and excited that Mara gets an opportunity to do that. I think that was one of the things that she was really hoping that she'd get a chance to do by coming to University of Missouri. And so we're glad uh, that we get that chance. Mara, what's the emotions like heading into the NCAA championships and how do you feel like uh, preparation is going so far? Um, We're just doing the same thing as we've been doing the whole season. Um, Like last week, we had a couple of days off and then just trying to build up to routines again. Um, I'm excited to go to nationals. I mean, it's obviously bittersweet because we wanted to go as a team and we were so close. Um, so hopefully that will like fuel us for next year um, to make it as a team. Cause that's obviously the ultimate goal, but going as an individual is um, it's an honor. Yeah. What does so, it mean to you to represent your team? Um, I think it's, it's fun. Um, I just really hope I can just do my best there. And um, yeah, I just, I will miss them obviously, because it's not the same competing as individual. Hey, Mara, sorry. Apologies. I am driving to Fort Worth myself uh, and I'm in a parking lot, so I can't get my camera on. Um, so you've got one season under your belt at Mizzou. Um, what has this experience been like compared to your previous previous collegiate experience? Like being in the SEC versus the Eagle and all of that? It's been quite different. Um, obviously, it's just way more professional. Um, the resource we have is, has been really help, helpful. And um, I think preseason was very helpful. It was um, just a lot of consistency, like day to day really helped um also just being surrounded by so many people that are like-minded and have the same work ethic um was really helpful i didn't feel as as drained so it was like yeah, i had a good amount of energy going into season and during the season so i think that was um was really nice experience and obviously making it to regionals as a team and experiencing that and going into like the second round was awesome and just really fighting for that spot to nationals as a team has been such a great experience so who all will be joining you besides the staff, I would assume, in Fort Worth? Um, yeah, just just me. Yeah, so uh, it'll be uh, Coach Whitney and myself and our athletic trainer and Mara. And Mara's mom. Yep. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, my mom will be flying in, I think, for like four days from Amsterdam to Texas, and then she's going back. Wonderful. Went pretty well the last time she was here. <laughs> yeah, I told her she's my lucky charm now, so I'm happy to have her there. Mara, what do you uh, what do you feel like you improved upon the most this year? And, and Shannon, from your perspective, what do you feel like Mara in, improved upon the most? Yeah, I don't want to lead the witness. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think at the beginning of the season, I got frustrated a lot with myself because I really had expectations and I think the coaches really helped me to see everything in perspective and stay process focused and um yeah I think I improved on that like more towards in the season yeah I think it's I think Mara's right on the money I mean I think it's easy to to feel like hey you know you you were recruited here to do a job and you sometimes can feel like the weight of the world's on your shoulders and I think once you figure out that hey look we have other great student athletes around you to help um to get the job done then you know it takes a little bit of that pressure off and you can enjoy the you know it's, it should be fun right um we've done the preparation and I think that was one thing I saw in Mara that as we move through the year is that look you don't have to be perfect for our team to be successful. And I think once everybody, not just she, but once everybody understands that it, it becomes a lot more fun and relaxed and, and we really do better gymnastics as well. 
Um, Coach, you've had obviously a lot of success uh, utilizing the transfer portal. This is two in a row. Um, should we be on the lookout for any future uh, any future transfers coming in? Well, you our, our marketing must be working because you. Yes. <laughs> we thought that was pretty uh, innovative, quite honestly. So, um, you know, uh, I think so did we. <laughs> we're good. Um, um, our, our marketing person said, well, no one else is doing this. I said, that's why we're going to do it. And so um, but, um, you know, I think it's just the way of the world. You know, I think it's easy to um, to to not um, just acknowledge that that is um, part of our sport now or sport in general in, in the NCAA. So certainly we're, we're um, you know, we've been active in it previously in that transfer portal. We're, we're being active right now. Um, I, I would certainly um, wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if we add some great people to it. But I think we've been successful, not just because we've identified um, really good gymnasts and gymnastics, which is not hard, um, you know, but but identifying the right people that really fit into our program and our culture and just things like that, because they're going to be more successful if it's the right fit. Um, on there. And, and so you got to have both parts of that, the athletic part of it, but you also have to have the cultural part of it too. And so, um, so that was a long answer to a short question, but, um, but I suspect we're going to be very active in there and recruiting people that can help us get better um, culturally and gymnastics. Well, and Mara, follow up, um, particularly as an international student, uh, how have the team and the staff helped you along this process? Um, in your transfer process? Um, they were very helpful with everything. Um, I think it was a bit challenging for me at the beginning, but they were really, really helpful to get everything figured out. And uh, yeah, like after the first month, I finally started to settle in and um, yeah, everyone just like welcomed me with open arms and I felt really very welcomed and wanted here. So that was really helpful. Mara, what's been your favorite part about being on this team so far this year? Oof, my favorite part. I just think the team in general, the whole culture and the work ethic and um, how we like operate as a team. Um, yeah, and just the the peace that comes with that. Like everyone's in a gym to do their job. And outside of the gym, um, I get with like my friends and it's just so enjoyable. It's like an enjoyable experience overall. Mara, looking back on regionals, just how do you feel like you performed there now that you're looking back on it a little bit? And how are you looking to build upon that as you head into NCAAs? Um, I think the first day um, I did a pretty good job. Um, I had a good routine and a good landing. I think that um, really helps with this course as well. And then the second day, there was just like a tiny mistakes and obviously the landing wasn't as good. So hopefully I can just bring that in um, to the nationals, just like work on those little details and staying focused. And um, yeah, just that. Coach, well, the you part you're you're making a comeback at any point. <laughs> Sorry, I could not. Um, one, one more time with in the, the bar bar skill. Sorry, we got mom jump there. Sorry, sorry. Uh, is the Bardwaj going to be making a comeback at any point? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's throw it in. No. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think some of that might be determined by what happens with rule changes and stuff like that, um, kind of in this off season um, and in there. And certainly, um, you know, we gave that a good go here at the beginning of the year. And I was really, I thought that was awesome that we were able to do it. You know, I'd like to just see our our rules be such and the judging be such that stuff like that is is rewarded because it's really cool. Right. Um, and, you know, I think that would be a fantastic thing. But, you know, we're not here to outsmart the judges, right? We, we're going to we're going to figure out what they're going to score high. And then, you know, that's what we're going to do. So hopefully we can get that adjusted so we see more people, because I think there are other gymnasts out there that can do some stuff that's really entertaining and, and impressive. I just would like to see it get rewarded a little bit. So uh, on there. So um, I think somebody else had a question, too. Yeah. So, Coach, talking about a little bit about the judging, you know, not necessarily inconsistencies, but the differences between each judge. How can you prepare for that from meet to meet? 
Yeah, you know, I think we just really focus on controllables. You know, what are what are things that we can control? You know, obviously we try to anticipate and figure out like where where are the small little things that are going to be difference makers for us, which I feel like we've done a pretty good job on. But at the end of the day, you just go out and, and you prepare the best you can and do the best um, routine you can do and just, you know, have some fun with it too. You know, going as an individual, um, I'm getting a list of jokes ready for Mara. So we have some entertainment. So, so, cause she's probably used to talking to 15 other teammates. And so uh, we gotta, we gotta prepare for that piece of it right there. Just to, you know, this is going to be an, it's a different experience when you go as an individual and, and you just want to make sure that it's as fun as if you went with your team or at least as close as possible. Um, so I think we're just, you know, that's really kind of the focus is to enjoy it and, and have some fun and, um, you know, and, and just represent our school and ourselves as well as we can. Coach, I'm doing a story on your recruiting class coming up. If you could real quick talk about Rayleigh Jackson, the five-star coming in. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's an impressive class. Um, and I think it's gonna it's gonna be um I think it's gonna move the needle for us, quite honestly. Um, I've seen it over the years and and um there are times where we take a step. And then, you know, we were there for a little bit and then we take the next step. And I think this is an opportunity for our program to take that next step. And those steps are harder, obviously, the higher we get up there. Right. And so but I do think um, this will be an impressive uh, class. I think Rayleigh Jackson, she's been out a little this year. She had a little um, shoulder thing she had to get taken care of, but she'll be up and running no problem for next year. And but, yeah, we're excited. Rayleigh's just so steady. Um, you know, she's been on the developmental program national team a number of years she's a she's a national champion in the developmental program on beam um so i'm i'm excited for her i think she's going to be um she's going to be a star in the sec so um should be should be exciting we got quite a other i think we actually just had the highest all around from um a dp kid they had they had their regionals this last weekend um olivia kelly just went uh 39 4 2 5 i think it was that's the highest score in the country Right. And and she's coming to Mizzou. So, um, you know, and, and a number of others, Kaya, Kaya Tanskinen just repeated as Finnish national champion back to back years is going to European championships coming up later this month. Um, you know, and, and we've got uh, Lisa Zebert also was regional all around champion uh, in her region this last weekend. So some impressive stats um, and, and they're doing some big things. So a lot of exciting stuff. Yeah, and uh, Mara, if you return, you know, for your graduate year and Tenskanen being a European as well, how can you get her prepared for something like this? Well, I think since she has competed at, like, uh, big tournaments such as Worlds and Europeans, I think um, having that experience really prepares you well. Also, like, a lot of podium meets. As an international, you do a lot of podium meets. So um, doing those really prepares you for um, SECs and you know, the big meets. So, and having that amount of pressure is also something that really prepares you for this. And, but having your team, that's, it's just different as an international, like you're there for yourself and as an individual mostly. So having a team around you is really helpful compared to that. So I think it'll make her, make it easier for her. Mara, what ultimately made you decide to come back? Um, I just feel like I'm not done yet. Um, obviously, bar is going well, but um, I started on beam this year, and I think I have a lot more to give still. So just having that in mind, I'm just not done yet. All right. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions, we appreciate your time, and uh, we're excited to we actually take off tomorrow night. So we're heading down, and we got a practice day on Wednesday, and then – uh, Mara's in the last session. She's the last bar routine of the meet in the last session. So it's a great spot to be in. Um, I always feel like that's, you know, you want to go as late in that competition as you can. Um, I just feel like that's, it just is advantageous uh, from a judging standpoint. So we're excited about that. And then, uh, and then we kind of switch gears and get reset on next year and uh, get ready to get our team uh, all back down to Dallas. So, so appreciate you guys this year and um, we will see you soon. All right.